Rise from the Ashes. It is a great name. Oh yeah, because Phoenix. Yeah. A Phoenix rises from the ashes. How long after the previous case is this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Nine years. You can tell this is DS versus Game Boy Advance. Like what a that animation is so DS. Oh what? Oh what? Twin Oh what? Oh that's sick! Oh my god, that's so cool! So the crimes happened in different buildings? At the same time. Oh that's that's Oh man, that's so cool. That was Badgie, the Badgie. Yeah. The... So does that mean one of them is happening at the police station? Oh man, I'm so in engaged, okay. Okay, it's been two months. <laughs> it's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. Are you, are you okay financially, my man? <laughs> I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. Does that mean Maya's not going to show up at all? Oh, maybe oh, not. Why am I, why am I here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bob, yeah th thanks for being here. See you there. <laughs> why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. Uh, would you like to be Mysterious Girl? Not the same there you voice. Are, finally. <laughs> okay then. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Um who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. <laughs> I I'm definitely them. Oh, uh you're not Mia Faye, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Faye no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! The Phoenix Wright! The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case! Um, uh, yeah, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth, if he was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help. It, it's my sister. Oh yeah, he, he's probably thinking like, oh yeah, I've seen yeah. this before. Could it be? Has she reached a spiritual divination and changed yeah. being? Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma. Emma Sky, I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Alright then. Well, let's examine, let's see what, what like. What the badges on her thing mean? Uh, I'm not sure. You'll see when you. Difficult looking legal book. Stand in formidable. Oh, they're not, yeah, it's still the same. It's it's the same as all. That's uh, the poster. There's a poster of the steel samurai on the wall. I stick it up here the day she left. Didn't have the heart to take it down. She didn't put it up the day she left. It was there, it was like, already up. It yeah. Was, yeah, it was already up, like, when the beginning of the Edgeworth trial She started. took it down to kiss it, and then yeah. put it up again. <laughs> I do sometimes get strange looks from the clients, though. Oh, I see, just looking at uh, the stills. Right, I see. Yeah, he does have that in a lawyer's office, fair enough. Mia's plant, Charlie. I've been taking care of him in Maya's absence. Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. Yeah, they're planning a second branch outside the city. Gads! The bellboy was staring right at me! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't forgotten you, sir. But, like, that implies that the yeah. bellboy exclusively is in that room. Like, he's, like, he's, he's got the hotel's like, no, this is <laughs> that, mine now. I live in this room. That room is his prize. Yeah. That room is his prize. That, if it weren't for that room, or what happened in the room, then he wouldn't have his, his business. I love, look, at I, his, look at her badges. Yeah. Like, 
like the Katamari top one. Badges. The, the top one is just Teddy from Persona Four. <laughs> <laughs> Senpai. <laughs> Right, uh, let's see. I wonder what branch of science. Well, I think we'll find out. So, oh, yeah. uh, Emma, was it? So, you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of uh, jumpy or maybe just young. Young? I'll be 16 years old this I year. I would have penned you at like. Early twenties, like I wouldn't have thought sixteen. She looks, okay. she looks quite as old as Maya. Yeah. To me, to me anyway. But... Yeah, I would. Like, fair enough. All right. Because oh, we're going off. We don't know about the heights because everyone's the same. Yeah, height, I suppose that's because... true. But like, yeah. it just her face doesn't look like no disrespect that youthful. Like I don't mean like oh she looks so old she looks like eighty but no like you know she she I wouldn't have put her in like. Mid teens, maybe late, like not mid though. Like she's been at uni for a couple of years, kind of, you know. Yeah, well, when you're younger, your face is like fatter. Mm. Not fatter, but you yeah, know what yeah. I mean. Like you, 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 you're a bit soft around the edges when you're younger. Huh? There's a name for it when babies, like the proportion of babies, when so you know babies are proportionally their heads are ginormous. Mm. Proportional to their bodies, their heads are massive. You know what I'm talking about? Y yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, so there's a name for it in science, but I forget what it is. And as you get older, the proportion um, swaps. So then you realise, because when you look at a baby, you don't think it has a huge head yeah. until you until you realise, like, compared to its body. Mm. Yes. Oh, I see. W wait, only 16? I'm said to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. Of course, it's forensics. Mm. This is a, this is a detective game. My work is becoming quite well known, at my age, no less. So, does that mean she's going to help us, like, with the case at hand? Like, uh, like actually be there and be like, okay, here's a thing. Let's let's <laughs> let's see what this whose DNA this is, like, kind of thing. Like, I imagine so. Yeah. Cool. Helpful. Um, so what exactly is your current position then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but I'm ready to do my job, at my age no less. Right, and I'm a future professional in training. Fair enough. I mean, you know, like, if, if you're as good as you say, then it will be wonderful to help, have you help the case that actually you do genuinely care about so <laughs> so what's this about a case you said the trial's tomorrow my sister didn't do it she would stab someone with a knife she wouldn't i would but she wouldn't so it's a murder case i don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it she didn't do it so what if it was in front of a crowd of hundreds and it was filmed live I mean, like she didn't, I swear! Like, mm, that does... It was AI generated! <laughs> I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact! And there's a witness. Just talk to her! You have to talk to her! Right, I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? Yeah, that is interesting. Maybe they were friends? Could also be someone in a legal firm, like a different one. So you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up then? Excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. You are, legally, but... <laughs> Technically, yeah, you're a teenager. But um, <laughs> still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. What? My man, I believe you at age seven <laughs> wanted to become a lawyer! Like, <laughs> fucking when shut I was, up! When I, seven, when I was seven, I wanted to be a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> like, Phoenix Wright wanted to be a defense attorney. Like <laughs> yeah, like, it's just like, oh, yeah, oh good, good for you to have a have a worthy, intense goal. Like, shut up, man! <laughs> When I was when I was a uh, um, a kid, I actually my pa my parents asked me what I wanted to be when I was older, and I told them I wanted to be a drifter, <laughs> like a like a guy who goes on like 
<laughs> on old trains and goes yeah. from town to town. Yeah. Just oh, like wow, oh, he wants to do like NASCAR. Nomad. That's amazing. Like, no, like not like a drifter. <laughs> no, not like a Tokyo yeah, I drifter. I mean, like, like, yeah. like a nomad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I wanted to do. Like, I don't think I knew. Like, I just didn't really know. I know for a while I was like, oh, I'd like to be a game tester. Yeah. And I, knowing now what what it's like. No, <laughs> I don't. My, my my thing after my drifter phase, I loved um, cartoons. Like mm. I absolutely love cartoons. I wanted to make a cartoon or a comic or something. Oh, okay, nice. When I was a kid, that was fun. Uh, yeah, but you know, l l these two, they they wanted like actual like super profound careers. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> some people like so some people totally like see a firefighter or or you know, doctor or police or whatever, and be like, oh, that's what I want to do. Like, really young. I'm just like, yeah, fair enough. Like, if it really appeals to you and it excites you, it's like, yeah, cool. Like, it's there's not there's nothing that insane about the prospect of wanting yeah. to do that. <laughs> but anyway. Don't you? Uh, yeah. I sure can't fool her for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister. I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. It's called the stylus and touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll show you when I'm done. I was actually reading on this, and apparently they th this actually might technically be relevant. Um, uh, they would wanted to utilize the microphone uh, in the DS. I don't know whether they actually did, um, but that was something that they were certainly... Oh, the Wario with. games did that, mm. where if you blew... I hated that so yes. much. If you blew into... Yeah. Um, then the balloon guy would fly up. Yeah, yeah. And it was so... And I tried it on an emulator, and it was BS. So, the, so the, yeah. <laughs> I just bound it to a key. Yeah, so like there's, there's a real possibility that might actually be a line relating to that. Uh, I don't know how it will work in this version of the game, but yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. Right, so I like her own John glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Hold me closer! <laughs> <laughs> My sister asked for, for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person is a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And well, I need one. Uh, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're not going to press her about that. That's fair. Yeah. All right. But, wait, why wouldn't, Fe <laughs> why wouldn't Phoenix... Why wouldn't Phoenix... Yeah. That's a nice pastry. <laughs> yeah. See, this I can analyze is... it with my forensic knowledge. It's anyway, my attorney's why wouldn't... badge. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't why wouldn't Phoenix tell her that Mia Fey was murdered? I don't know. Maybe he's still not over it. Doesn't yeah. want to admit it. It's only been four months, and they were close. So I don't know. right, and she's and he's only just met this person. <laughs> yeah, that as as well. Yes. Ah yeah. uh, well, I've never seen a real one before. You're the first one who's actually been... I love her glasses. Yeah, I, I mean, she looks good with them on. Yeah. Uh, you're the Hold first me one... closer. <laughs> Hold me Tell close, me I'm to... not a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a forensic scientist. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you're the first one who's actually been interested yes. in mine, believe me. <laughs> its composition is mostly silver. The gold plating is feeling, flaking a bit. She's saying it's cheap. You are going to be good. <laughs> you are going to be really good. <laughs> she analyzed yeah. it. Scientifically. Like it's a job. Fuck. <laughs> no. 
There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfides. I give you fifty dollars. <laughs> 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 yes, you. I love her. Oh, so, okay. I went to a dermatologist once, right? And I just asked him in passing because I was already there, and he gets it all the time. I said, "Okay, since I'm here, it was about a different issue, right?" And I said, "I've got this like weird like patch on my wrist," and I was just like, "From wearing my watch, is this all right?" And he said, "He said um, that happens." He and he he's he's a dermatologist. He's a skin expert, mm -hmm. so he just looked at that and just knew like that. He was just like, "Oh yeah, this is. I think that's nickel, right?" That happens when your skin's exposed to nickel. And then he said, you usually get that in cheap watches. And then oh, he com quickly caught himself. He was just like, oh, then he's not to say your watch is cheap or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, you, you prat. This is like my 21st birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> saying it's like fake. Well, like... <laughs> the, um, well, before my nan passed, I wanted to get her like a little necklace. Because she loved elephants. So it was like a little chain and, uh, and it had a little elephant on it. Um, I, I, I got the, the elephant template, but I was looking for a chain for it, and I picked one up in a store, and I don't know what the fuck happened, it, like, burned the skin off my hand just by touching it. I was like, fuck me! Like, <laughs> so it was like acid, it's like, what the fuck is this? I am, whatever this is, I am heavily allergic to it, my god. Like, I was, I have not, I don't know what the metal was, but poison to me, <laughs> like, it was amazing. <laughs> Not good amazing, but amazing. <laughs> so, sorry, but it's not for sale. Yet. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, let's, uh, let's move on, shall we? Detention teller. We've been here before. He's still there. We, we yeah, need he, to give him a name. He has not We need to give him a name. Uh, we need to give him Bruce. a name. Uh, detention center... Bruce. Bruce, detention center man. Yeah, okay, his, his name's Bruce. First name okay. Bruce, surname detention. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She's got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Oh, uh... God... This, God is, this is the sister, so... I don't know what she looks like, so I don't know what voice to be like. Mm, Make her sound like it. a hag, and then when we see that she's a yeah. nice young lady, you'll, you'll be funny. God, I thought I told you I don't want visitors! <laughs> so, sorry, ma'am, it's just your sister. No excuses! Or did you not want to ra a raise this year, hmm? Uh, 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 What was that all about? Oh my god, what? Oh my god, she's hair! <laughs> well, I was more... Is she a... Is she a soldier? Like, what's... <laughs> <laughs> military outfit. She's wearing a veil. She's wearing a brown veil. Yes, possibly. <laughs> you don't know until she turns around, yeah. if she turns hi, around. Yeah. Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Uh, look. I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow, and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Oh, maybe she actually is in the military. She's got medals. Yeah. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana, Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? What do those medals mean? The fact that she's got two of the three of them is, uh, I'm guessing, quite important. Um, two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... It's something wrong, Mr. Wright? Your face is like my badge. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, obviously I've got to examine our, our friend. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's frozen in fear of the frigid Miss Lana. I'm feeling a bit chilly myself. Okay, I like how the guard is, is here all the time and he hates everyone. Like, <laughs> like, don't, don't think I'm, yeah, it's the same as always. Alright, well, I've got, I've, got, I've got to present it. Your badge looks new. I polish it daily. 
In a few years, the gold plating will flake off. Then we'll see the real you. <laughs> Whatever happened to innocent small talk? Give it three years, then we'll see what you have become. Wow, okay. By the end of this trilogy, you will amount to something or nothing. Let's find out which. <laughs> okay, great. Great, 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 great. I would have been like, you like you daft idiot. This is a chocolate coin. It's made of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's something you should know from the start, which is the suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect, the suspect is me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright, well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15pm. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's de de deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor- oh, the prosecutor's office, huh? Your subordinate's car's trunk? <laughs> Quasi. <laughs> I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. I, uh, I was- I was reading, a a thing. Uh, uh, like a- I was watching, like, a- a thing on Gerard the Completionist and his, uh, Open Hand Foundation charity like, fraud thing, and uh, one of the comments said, we should replace caught red-handed with caught open-handed. It's just like, yes, <laughs> we absolutely should. <laughs> I love it, it's <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, that's just great. All right, so, so who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. No, not gumshoe, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, no. Please, no. Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you. Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Huh. What? Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse of everything I learn. Yeah, it is not good, okay. So you're the chief prosecutor. That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. She has a bandage on her hand. Oh, okay. I wonder I mean... if she can't have done it. She couldn't hold anything. If she, if it's... Right. She was claiming, mate, if she stabbed with the right hand, there's no way she could have possibly held it. Her, her nerves might have been damaged by a, I presume, stab wound, maybe gunshot wound. Um, I'm guessing by the size of it. Uh, I'm I'm thinking that the person who did it is a friend or either someone that she owes a favour to, and they may have stabbed her before, shot her before stabbing the detective, and she's taken the fall for it. Oh, okay. This is my elaborate, I know, fuck all about it theory. <laughs> Let's go. Anyway, in fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't... Um, Lana! What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Don't believe huh? you. I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her. Emma told you that too, didn't she? Did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It was in law school. I, I was in my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different from the other students. Different. She was strong. 
Did she do anything to become a defense attorney? Anything. That was probably why she was attra attra attracted to me. Excuse me? Intellectually attracted. Lana was top of her class in school. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. I gathered by the fact that you're very, very ahead of probably yeah, everyone yeah. else in your class. <laughs> yeah. Like, there are, there are like, s special cases where some people do get hired way younger than they, like, like, way before, like, the age they usually do, so I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up getting hired or something. Sounds a bit different from when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright. Excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But, but Lana! Why? Why are you doing this to me? Never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be alone. I, I hate you, Lana. Mr. Wright. Yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. Something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm gonna find out what. <laughs>